Hey subscribers, so I was asked how an igniter works. It's pretty simple really. There's a set of points. This one is stationary, this one moves. And the stationary one is isolated from the body of the igniter, usually by mica washers on either end. And then there's a mica tube in the middle. And then you have your movable point, which is spring-loaded and grounds through the body. So there's a mechanical device that would make this snap really quick. You can manipulate it with your hand, though. You just have your positive, which I always put on the stationary point. doesn't really matter, though. And then a negative, which is to the body of the igniter. And that gets wired up to a low-tension coil, which is nothing more than a steel bar with a bunch of wire wrapped around it. And that goes to the battery. So when this is hooked up, and this is snapped, the spark just jumps across the two points. Now, the interesting thing about this is you can use an automotive coil. Now, I don't think these work nearly as well, this one, I'm not sure how good it is. It was just a beater I had around. But I'll wire it up and show you how it works as well. Got the automotive coil wired up. And we'll see how much of a difference the spark is now. It's very small compared to the correct low tension coil. But then again, it could just be a junk coil. Just one I had. So, a high tension coil, which is what this is, and that's what any spark plug engine would use. There's two sets of windings inside here. The low tension side, which is connected to the points in the distributor, and the high tension side, which is this, that goes to the spark plug. Now, we can take this igniter and use it as a set of points in the distributor and fire a spark plug off of this. So let's do that now. All right, so I stuck a spark plug wire with a spark plug in it. And if I trip the igniter points, now you'll see a little spark at the igniter point and a nice blue spark on the spark plug, which is how a high tension system works. So typically in a distributor, there's no spark at the points. And I'll explain that in just a second. So here's the inside of a distributor. You'll see a set of points here, which is basically the same thing as a igniter. And then there's also this doohickey. It's called a points condenser. It reduces the amount of spark at the points, which in turn increases the point's life. If you kept arcing like an igniter, they'll eventually wear out. The condenser reduces that. So essentially, the igniter is only half of a high tension system. So I added a condenser to our little ignition system here just to show the effect it has. The power on. Still got a nice bright blue spark on the spark plug. But over here at the, what would be the ignition points on the distributor, no more spark. That's because the condenser is doing its job of reducing that spark.